But now we're going to get into Edward Sizzle and Lauren Witzke. Okay. Uh, these two people once ran for um, uh, elected positions and they didn't uh, win their elections. Uh, or I don't know if maybe she, uh, Lit Witzke was just running for primary or something. Uh, but anyways, none of them, neither of them are in, are in politics now Good. or uh, an elected uh, elected uh, position now. Okay. You ready? Yeah. The, just, I want y'all to notice that I find it funny. Maybe it, it's not all that big of a deal, but the background that they're on is just hilarious to me because it just seems so random and out of place. But anyways, you ready? Mm-hmm. All right. Look, Lauren, I don't know how you feel about this. You probably agree. Look, I'm not ag against theocracy or authoritarianism if it's coming from God. Like, God, for the most part, is not, it's not a democracy in heaven. All right. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh. And, I, and I mean, we saw <laughs> right. what happened with democracy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah, had yeah. the choice between Barabbas and Jesus. Yeah, yeah. They're like, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Give, know, us, give, us, give like us Barabbas. Okay, the murderer. Theocratic kingdom of heaven, baby. Here on Amen. earth. Amen. Let's do it. They keep acting as if, like, this is some kind of shit. It can't get any worse. Yeah, that's I know. Seriously. Sure. <laughs> you you want to listen to that crazy lady? AOC? AOC? Not AOC. Yeah, AOC is in charge. Can yeah. it really get any worse? Yeah. I mean, yeah, it can she, get worse if Christian nationalism is instituted. Also, she's not in charge. She just has one vote right like that's <laughs> I, I like how they use the whole choice between jesus and barabbas as an example of democracy it wasn't it was <laughs> that's not a representation of democracy but also that shit never happened like that that particular like letting uh letting one of them go like that was never something that Pilate ever did in history it, this is just super weird i i think it's interesting that and this is another example of them being okay with in, in, in uh, instantiating theocratic laws as long as it's theirs. If it's right. not theirs, then it's persecution and it's a problem. But as long as it's theirs, it's fine. And it's just like, Jesus, like you can't rule based on your specific positions. Like that's just not how anything is going to work. It's just not going to work. Fuck off both these people well, and everybody who runs like them, they all need to go away. They, they all need to they go do. away. All of them need to go away. Well, I mean, you know, we do have, we're about to, well, the, the last story that we're covering today is somebody that is elected. That's uh, saying pretty much the exact same shit right here. You know, and I don't have problems with elected officials being Christian. I don't want anybody no. to think that that's what I'm saying because I'm not. Almost all elected officials are Christian. So I'm not saying I have a problem with an elected official having their own personal religion. But what I have a problem with is when they take that personal religion and try to legislate with it. Your mm -hmm. religion is your personal opinion and has nothing to do with your business of uh, what you do as an elected official and mixing the two is a serious problem. That's the problem. Not that you're personally a Christian. I don't give a fuck about that. Right. Uh, and I, I similarly uh, don't give a fuck whether or not somebody's a Christian and they're a politician. The only thing that I care about is that you're not trying to legislate your religion into law. Yeah. Like, I mean, Biden is, he's a very religious person. Mm -hmm. He's, he's very Catholic. Um, and he does, you know, in speeches and stuff like that, get reads Bible verses and all that other kind of stuff. I frankly think that he leans into it a little more because he wants the other side to, um, maybe, maybe it gives them something that they haven't caught that they think they have in common though. The Christian nationalists have warped things. I mean, it anyway. I don't have a problem with the fact that Biden is a Catholic. I don't like when he includes it in his speeches, but here's what he doesn't do. He does not include his religious views in legislation. And right. And so, I mean, he's, he's Catholic who are very uh, anti-abortion. And while he personally probably would not be okay with his spouse having an abortion, I mean, granted they're well past this time, but, um, he doesn't think that it should be legislated like that anti-abortion laws should be legislated. Right. Um, he doesn't agree with them. Well, I, I also notice that like Lauren here in this video is like all about some Christian theocracy. She's awful. But I mean, if you, if you were to really apply Christian theocracy, she would not be able to be 
in the on video that, that podcast. She, no, yeah, yeah. She wouldn't be able to be there. She wouldn't have been able to even run for elected office. Hell, if you've watched um, the Handmaid's Tale, she wouldn't be able to even read. Yeah. So these these women, and that's another thing I find interesting about Handmaid's Tale is because I don't think they really realize what they're doing to themselves. Right. And they should. They should. If they knew the shit that they were pushing, if they really knew, which again, they should, but they don't, they buzzword and they follow the grift. Right. And, uh, but if they really knew what they were doing, they're doing their, their, their ideas are incredibly harmful to lots of people, including themselves. <laughs>